And we have a somber follow up to a story that we told you about Tuesday involves a couple that was pulled from the water at Jacksonville Beach. News for Jax has learned a mother who was taken to the hospital in critical condition has passed away. We're also learning that she, her husband and their small child were visiting Florida from another state. Reporter Eric Avenier spoke with one of the people who played a role in the rescue effort. He was the one that pulled him out and pulled her out. And started John Blackwelder says he was riding his bike along the beach when a good Samaritan pulled a husband and wife out of the water. Witnesses say the husband went into the water to rescue his wife, who was struggling before going under. But then the husband started to struggle and needed help. Blackwelder says that while the Good Samaritan was performing CPR on the woman, the Good Samaritan's wife asked him to ride to the nearest lifeguard station to get help. I flew back down to the lifeguard station and told the guy what was going on. I said, here, take my bike. You'll get there 10 times faster, and he did. By the time Blackwelder ran back to the rescue location to see what was happening, the lady was not breathing, unfortunately. He says ocean rescue workers were trying to revive the woman, but she still appeared unresponsive, so they began transporting her to a waiting ambulance. As for the victim's husband, who was so exhausted that he required oxygen, he kept asking, how's my wife, how's my wife? So that's kind of how we knew they were a couple. Blackwelder says the couple's child, who is believed to be four or five years old, watched everything unfold. How close was he to all of this taking place? Well, originally, he was by the water as they were bringing his mom and dad out. Blackwelder says the wife of the man who was performing CPR on the child's mother didn't want the child to continue watching his exhausted father and unresponsive mother, so she took the child to another location of the beach. I even noticed that she had him facing towards the, uh, the land instead of the ocean, just trying to you know keep him calm. The child's parents were both taken to the hospital, his father in serious condition and his mother critical. Sadly, we learned from sources that she died. It breaks my heart, not only for the loss of her life and for her husband, but that boy is four or five years old and had to witness that trauma. You know, that's something that's going to stick with that young man for life, and it's just so sad. Eric Avigny, Channel 4, The Local Station. Blackwelder went on to say that the young lifeguard he flagged down did everything he could to revive the woman.